Lana, you got your vitamin? Okay, give me a kiss. You gonna go play? Love you. Okay, you guys go back. Can you go put those away for me? Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, here we are with Lessons from Within the Storm. If you've caught our first Lessons from Within the Storm video, here's number two. <clears throat> God has rolled off quite a few lessons for me in a fairly short period of time. And I'm overwhelmed and very grateful that God has opened my eyes and enabled me to catch the learning moments. Um, as you know, that anytime we go through great difficulties in our life, it, it, the tendency is for us to become very self-absorbed and to not look out and to not look past. God has done a great work for me in just that alone in enabling me to hear Him, see Him, and feel Him in ways that I haven't experienced in the past. I've called this the Home Depot story. <clears throat> and the reason why is I was at Home Depot just the other day. And I had gone in, and I was wearing my baggy of clothes as possible, feeling so skinny, and just uh, had gone in there, and not mindful so much of, oh, woe is me, but just knowing that I'm walking slower, I just can't walk as fast, I'm going through the aisles, I'm trying to find stuff that I need for whatever the purpose was that I had to gather while I was there, <clears throat> but it dawned on me, at one moment, it just came very clear to me that my disposition towards others had radically changed in a very short period of time. And I wasn't quite aware of how God had done this, but I knew inside I had a complete different outlook on everyone around me. And I don't quite know how to articulate it to you. Hopefully this will come across. I looked around at people and I now saw everyone else around me as my superior and me as their inferior. And not because I was weak and frail, not because I was feeling sorry for myself, but because of the only way I could describe it would be because of the humility of Christ. And I don't know that I've ever experienced that. I would not say I'm a proud person, but some of you knowing me could say, that, well, you can be a little arrogant. Or, but I think my nature towards people oftentimes is kind and loving, but I get busy, I get very focused on myself, I can easily run into a store and look at people and say, hey, well, you're the, you're the uh, clerk, help me. Come on, guys, I, I gotta find this part, let's go, I only got so much time. And it wasn't so much around things like that, as it was that I found myself moving in certain ways to make sure other people had plenty of space. I found myself making eye contact in a different way than I had before. I found myself leveraging my body in a communicable way to people that I find you to be greater than me. And that is nothing that I went in there to show. But God revealed that to me and I said, praise the Lord. That's amazing, God. That's an amazing work that you're doing. I would have never thought of that. God, I would have never thought that I don't serve and honor people the way that you do. But clearly, I don't know how you do all this, and I think clearly that's a lot of the reason why you're taking me through this storm, God, to help me to see you more. And so that's my lesson from inside the storm for part two. We're going to hopefully continue providing these lessons as long as God continues to reveal them to me. Um, if you haven't caught our first video, catch the first lesson in the storm, and we'll keep you posted on the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll keep you posted. God bless you all.